Full disclosure, this is not a cheat. This is the Pokemon daycare trick for Pokemon Yellow. And as you can see, my Charmander is at with the daycare man. He's grown by 44 levels. I got him... You acquire all three starters in Yellow. And um, I dropped him off with the daycare man as soon as I could. And um, I've been trying to figure out a way to level him up. Or does any Pokemon in the daycare... And doing it AFK away from keyboard and um, just so I can, you know, walk away and do something else like in real life. And um, I thought I was the first one to figure this out, but come to find out I wasn't. Uh, so it's all good. But um, I wanted to find a spot in the game where I could just hold down a key and just walk away and then just come back, you know, maybe overnight. I wake up the next day, eight hours later or whatever. Uh, yeah, I can sometimes get a normal eight hours of sleep. But um, first, I tried Saffron City Gym, um, where Sabrina is, and you go through the pads, and um, like the teleport pads, but you eventually just run into a wall, so it actually doesn't work. And um, some people online have said, you know, you can just cycle up and down Cycling Road and gain experience points that way. But, um, I mean, you, you can't be AFK, you can't just leave your computer or your Game Boy. So, um, what I eventually figured out on my own, and then I later realized that people online have already done this, is that you go to the Celadon Game Corner, and you go downstairs to the uh, Team Rocket hideout, and you can go to basement level 3 like I did, or level 2, they both have the, uh, the pads... I don't know, I don't know what to call them, but the directional pads that send you every which way, you know what I mean, you, you're looking at the screen, but um, anyways, you find a pad that um, you can face back into the uh, the triangle pads and it'll send you back to a, to a pad that has the four squares on it, and what I did is I just grabbed a, a clothespin off of the uh, off the line in my laundry room, and I I literally just put the clothespin over the left move key on my keyboard, and you could you could find something to jimmy rig up uh, the left you know key or or pad on the uh, Game Boy Color or Game Boy Advance if you're playing uh, the the real you know legit version of Pokemon Yellow. And once you do that, then your character will just start running left into, for example here, what I'm doing, into a right pad. And every time you walk left, you hit the right pad, and the right pad sends you right back to the four squares pad. And then your character, what do you know, he starts walking left again. It just keeps happening over and over and over. And then you just, once you get it all set up, you can, you know, turn the volume off or turn it down and... Uh, just walk away and go do something and, and then come back come back in a little while, maybe a couple hours and um, if you want to go check go check on your Pokemon and uh, and the one thing I would keep in mind is that any new moves your Pokemon might learn through leveling up, you take that into account and try to pull out your Pokemon kinda early from the daycare so that just to make sure not, there's any old moves that you want to keep that they don't you know, get replaced by that new move that your Pokemon might learn by leveling up. 